that's the good thing about the album was that me working with all of these producers and, and bringing my friends in to do verses and all, I had to, I had to, you know, put on playoff Jordan, you know, because that, that was, that was like serious, that was like, you know, best of seven right there, so it was legit, like me and Wale and Bank, you know, Bank doing the beat, like, so what, who's going to rap weak on Bank's beat and have Bank upset, you know what I'm saying? In meetings with Warner Bros. when they just asked, like, wish list. What, what do you want us to do, you know, best case scenario, you know, who you want us to find for you, like, Daz Dillinger, because I couldn't, I had tried on Twitter, like, once or twice, but you never know who that is, you know. Homie came out to the studio in L.A., and we recorded Fast Cars, Faster Women. He did the beat for it, and once I laid the first verse down, I had the second one, but I, was, I, I just, I'm like, yo, would you, would you get on it, you know, would you get down? He was like, nah, he was like, I was waiting on you to say this, and then I was just like, Honored, you know, that was a blessing for me to be able to work with Daz and then that close, like, to where it wasn't email, you know, doing email with us together. And we did, we, we both recorded on the record. It wasn't just Daz, the producer. It was like Daz Dillinger, you know, the artist, he, he rapped on it too. So it was like, like I lived out my, my old Death Road Dog Pound <laughs> dream right there, you know? Yeah. Yo, this is Currency. You're logged in to hiphopwire.com.